Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. This is your host, Gift Bozegana. Uh, thank you for coming again and watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share and leave a nice comment. We are on a road to 100,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. It's free, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up so that this video can reach to people who are the potential audience of this video. So today we are going to talk about pharmacy. Uh, pharmacy, we know that when you go to the hospital, you will find there is a pharmacist. When you go to the chemist, you will find there is a pharmacist. Even in the research field, there is a pharmacist, right? So basically, uh, I'm going to just talk about few, not all the universities that offer pharmacy. Probably there is a university that offer pharmacy that maybe I wouldn't mention here, but I would mention majority of the universities that offer pharmacy in South Africa. So we're going to start with the University of the Witwatersrand. It offers pharmacy under the science, the health sciences faculty. And normally, almost all universities, the pharmacy program to complete it, it takes four years, right? So after four years, you can become a pharmacist, right? So at Vets University, for maths, you need a level five. For physics, you need physical sciences, you need level five. English, you need level five. But what's dif what's, what differs at VET is that for pharmacy, you they, they, they in under health sciences at VET, they consider NBTs, so which is nat national benchmark test, the ones that you write. So for, for them to come to the conclusion that you get a placement there, they will use your results so your results count the one maths, physics, life science, and English. They count 60% of the total calculation score. And then the 40% is calculated by your NBT. So the higher your NBT mark and the higher your AP, your average uh, from your subject, the higher the chances of getting into the pharmacy program, right? Then we go to Sefako Mahato Health Sciences University, known as SMU, uh, formerly known as Medunsa there. For you to do pharmacy, you need a meds of level 5, life science level 5, physical science level 5, English level 5. But those are the basic requirements, guys, minimum requirements. Doesn't mean that you automatically will get a space in this program because it's very, very competitive. Right. And then we also go to the University of Western Cape, known as UWC. So for you to do pharmacy, you need level four in English, level four in maths, level four in physics, level four in life sciences. I repeat, meeting the minimum requirements does not mean you are in. Please aim high. Your marks must be always in that high level. Then we go to Rhodes University. Uh, Rhodes University also offers a Bachelor of Pharmacy for four years, which is uh, the maths, they require level five. Uh, life sciences they require level five physical sciences they require level five and then lastly we go to northwest university at Pochefstrom compass campus for meds they require level five to do pharmacy physics level five english they also require level five but what are the opportunities carry out jobs with pharmacy now right are you going to work in the chemist chemist alone are you going to just be in hospital. No, there's a lot. You can be in academia and uh, there do more research within the pharmacy field or the pharmaceutical field. You can be in community pharmacy, right? You can be in hospital pharmacy. Community pharmacy, the one that I'm talking about, the chemist and all of the stuff. You can be in hospital pharmacy. Then in the hospital is pharmacist and pharmacy. You can be in industrial pharmacy, probably that's where they are manufacturing the, the medication, all of the stuff. You are there to monitor and manufacture, I, I like to believe so. You can be in managed healthcare. So there are a lot of opportunities that you can pursue if you decide that, you know what, let me take this route of becoming a pharmacist. And indeed, pharmacists are doing well for themselves. So it is a great career option that you may choose and definitely i wish you all the best for those who are still waiting for their results so that you can be accepted in this program of pharmacy in your respective university
familiarize yourself, do more research, visit LinkedIn, go and see where more majority of pharmacists work, which companies hire pharmacists. You know, you can even connect with pharmacists on LinkedIn, ask them questions that you have regarding this career, right? Because before you enroll, you must be sure that this is something that you really want and something that you just want to spend the rest of your life doing it, right? Me, from me to you, I say all the best and indeed you are capable of achieving whatever that you want to achieve. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, bye-bye to all the prospective pharmacist students.